I thought I'd show you one of my sketchbooks today. Uh, but first of all, I just want to talk about some of the kit that I use when I go out sketching. Um, so my main sketching item are these Faber-Castell pit pens in shades of grey, uh, and you'll see how I use them in a second. I also take uh, a brush pen, so just an ink pen with a brush on the end um, with, with waterproof ink, and also a normal fine liner. Um, some of them are waterproof and some of them aren't, and you can make some nice marks with the ones that are, are not waterproof. You can move the, the ink around, which is nice. So let's look at this sketchbook then. This is from 2020-2021, um, so there's some elements of uh, COVID in here. Um, let's start in Boscombe, which is in, in Bournemouth. Um, this was done from a, a picture that I'd already taken. And as you can see, these are the, uh, the shading marks that I use the pit pens for. Um, I tend to work a lot in black and white when I'm out. Uh, I can't tell you why, it just seems to be the way I work. Uh, this is um, a scene in Weymouth, a little street where we were walking down. Um, and these are my, my other half and my son walking down the street. There was a big shadow cast across the road, which really interested me. Um, so I stopped to, to draw that. A lot of the things I stopped to draw, people aren't really that interested in the family, so they, they carry on without me. Uh, this is the King's Arms in London in Fulham Road. Um, I, I did this when I was in hospital in the Brompton uh, and I just went out for a walk one day to get some air and uh, I did I did draw that as a, as a live picture. Uh, moving on we're going back to Weymouth uh, and the Fulham Road again. These were done from, both done from pictures um, that I'd taken. Um, I did some watercolours of, of the boats at Weymouth um, following these images. Tenby is another area that we like to go to, and again, this was done from a photo, although I have seen lots of people drawing this boat. It's a red boat that always seems to be in the harbour in Tenby, and a lot of people draw that. Um, it's a nice, nice boat. Uh, this is Warberswick, um, again from a picture that uh, I'd taken, and it's of Wesson's Sheds. I think they're named Wesson's Sheds. I don't think they're actually Wesson's, um, but it was a famous painting that he did in watercolour and lots of people always go there and I did go there. Um, I didn't draw in the end but I did take pictures and I wanted to come back and, and sort of draw the scene myself so that's what that one is. Um, Warwick Castle, uh, this is the river that runs down the side of Warwick Castle. Um, again you can see the grey scales there helping to sort of give distance uh, to the image. I like I like transport so there's a a digger or a, a excavator type lorry. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to use that, but I've um, been doing a lot of collage recently, and I think I might might put some collage on that. Um, this is Southwold Pier, um, and I've done a watercolour uh, tutorial of that, which I'll put up in the, the link so that you can uh, go and have a look at that. Um, all these sort of images I've tried to do in the style of... of how I would paint, so the lines indicate where I would put paint marks um, when I'm painting. So when I'm out drawing, I'm constantly thinking of how how would I paint this? How am I going to get people to look into the scene? You can he see here I've got some zigzags going towards the the church. Again, this is Walberswick um, and the little church that you can see from um, across the river. Uh, going back to Bournemouth now, this was one that was done for a picture. I think as the most of these are done from pictures. This is Saunders Foot in, in Wales. Um, and I've got these two figures done really, really dark in black that sort of pulls them away from the background. I quite like that. I, I must do that as a painting. I haven't managed to do it yet. Uh, this is Boss Castle in Cornwall. And um, I've done another watercolour tutorial of this. So you can actually see this one being produced in watercolour. These two were experiments that I did using Google Maps. So I just <laughs> drove around the country with Google Maps uh, and just picked places that I wanted to, to sketch. I think this one was in Cornwall and this was in Wales, as I remember. Uh, that's a little house in Saunders Foot. We did go to West Wittering and this was a live picture that I did at West Wittering. So this is the, uh, the, the beach huts that run along the top of the, um, the beach. 
Um, this one is one in my hometown in the park behind us. And, and another one from West Rittering. This one actually came after these two, but I think I did this one and then this one, then went back to do that one. Uh, this is somewhere in Yorkshire and I can't remember where we were, um, but I did a, a picture of it. And again, it's one I'd love to do in watercolor, but just haven't had the time to do. Um, that's just a house that I saw somewhere. It's difficult to remember sometimes all these places. This is Wiseman's Bridge Pub. Now, this is where we're getting into um, things that I've sketched live. So this we are, I've stood on the beach sketching back towards uh, the, the pub that's on the front of Wiseman's Bridge Beach. Um, and there's a little house of a car park that uh, again has been done with the, very quickly, just some an ink pen um, just done through there. Uh, this is Saundersfoot Beach. Um, looking back to Coppet Beach, the sort of beach, there's the trees and there's a sort of a railway line, or was a railway line that used to run along the back of there. Um, I like to do a bit of figure drawing when I'm out, so there's been some uh, some examples of that in here um, where I've been out to Saundersfoot and we've uh, I've stopped and drawn figures. Figures are always useful to be able to use in painting, so I like to do a little bit of drawing um, when I'm out. Um, this was an interesting because I'd started to develop this idea. So I had this lovely uh, sort of family behind their um, their shelter and then I moved on to see if it would work as a watercolour. And I think it probably would, um, but I haven't finished it yet. But that that's how I use my sketchbook. I take the sketches and, and then uh, do some watercolours. And you'll see as I get through this, you'll, there'll be other bits and pieces that have been stuck in here. Um, this is a gouache uh, drawing that I did. Um, it's of a football stadium in London. I think it's Stratford or Stanford, something like that. Anyway, um, so that that's just been stuck into this sketchbook. Uh, this is returning back to uh, Wales, and again, it's the the cliffs coming down to the sea um, at Coppet Beach. Again, um, this is uh, this is how I developed my idea. So I've got four little images here that I I produced on location, and then I've gone ahead. And I've, in my sketchbook, I've started to develop the ideas to see if they would work as watercolours. And I do this a lot. And I will probably go back to these images and then uh, develop them a little bit further for a sort of a finished painting. Um, that's, like I say, how I use my sketchbook. Um, this was a, 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 a street vendor. Uh, food vendor and um, we loved the food there so I did go back one day and stand and draw this image it was a funny one because I was stood drawing and my other half was looking for me on the beach and couldn't find me got into trouble for that one uh, this is back in Tenby and there's another game four little images of two people sitting looking out to see a boat that comes in um, from Lundy Island I think it's Lundy Island uh, no, Caldy Island. Uh, there's Caldy Island and then there's, um, I think that's called St Charlotte's Mount or something like that in Tenby. Uh, we stopped near Pembrokeshire um, Gun Tower. Um, it's all marked as a big tourist attraction, but when you get there, it really is just a, a gun tower in the middle of a lake. Um, and I, I drew several bits of it. Um, I, I've done this as a collage. It's quite nice, um, the, the building structure through here. Um, um, again, I might develop that a bit further. Um, Carrow Castle, we go there a lot, but we don't really, we've never walked around the castle. We've, I've done lots of pictures and drawings of it, but we've never been around the castle. Um, nice area though. Seagulls, I've drawn a lot of seagulls recently. Um, and again, I develop them into little images that I think might work. Um, I found some collage, well, this is some collage here, I've found some uh, paper with some feathers on it. I thought that was quite amusing to put the feathers in in the image. Um, there's lots of text as well. I like text through my images when I'm actually sort of drawing them. And these are little trial pieces that I'll do um, when I'm trying to develop an idea. Um, this was some people fishing on some rocks. The tide was coming in and you can't really see, but just past here, there is absolutely no way to get back to, uh, to land unless you're going to get really, really wet. And I couldn't work out if these people had... Uh, just forgotten that or they were just having a jolly good time and we're, we're away but um, again I developed the idea found some text that I liked to go through the image um, this is an old painting actually that I, I, I sort of cut up so this through here this rock which working really well is actually um, an, an old painting that I just collaged over the top of um, which was interesting Tenby Harbour again this is another one I've done as a collage image um, 
but you can find that on my Instagram page. Um, it's won a competition, so it, uh, it's a, that was a that was a nice place again. Again, Carrow Castle, um, we returned there, we did some more drawing. And now we're moving into um, our summer holiday where we went to Bournemouth. So this is Bournemouth Pier. This is another one that I ended up doing as a piece of collage work um, with a sort of strips of paper all the way along and text on the buildings. Um, and that that again was put into a, a national exhibition. So that that was a that was a good piece of work. Um, in Windsor, we walked on the the, the long walk, um, and on along the way, I sort of drew some little images. Uh, the little images then again turned into these little watercolours that I do. That's um, Queen Victoria's monument, uh, Warwick, uh, not Warwick Castle, Windsor Castle, and then the, the long walk towards Windsor Castle. Um, then again, I started to develop these ideas with collage and some text going through the towers of Windsor Castle, um, and then the, the sort of the lovely text I love through buildings started to use those in my images. Again, these might turn into finished pieces, I don't know. They're, they're, this one seems a bit crowded to me, but um, it's an interesting thing to do. Uh, this is back in Bournemouth. We do flit around a lot. We did go to Bournemouth quite a lot that year, but I think these ones these ones might have been done from little bits and pieces I took on my, my phone after the event. And again, um, I started to develop the ideas. Um, some bigger ideas and this one actually turned into an oil painting um, that I did of uh, the sort of the end of a day in, uh, in, in Bournemouth. There's, a, there's actually a child in the image that uh, I finally finished on. This one was done from a pitch. This is a walk we did from Saundersfoot all the way across the cliff tops to Tenby um, and I remember this was the, the one of the final gates we came to before we had the long walk into Tenby um, and again that, that's just been sketched. Um, Saundersfoot Harbour features a lot in my work at the moment, I don't know why, I, I kind of love the, the structure and the fact that you can see the boats in the background. Um, I think I've developed some of these, yes, so that was, uh, that's a collage that I've started to develop of, of that image. Um, and then again, four little pictures that I did in Tembi, um, again, starting to develop the collage, um, starting in watercolour, just sort of playing with the ideas, seeing if they're working for me. Um, and then, yeah, moving on to what, what will be an almost final image, which um, I haven't done yet, but I will probably will do that in uh, in collage. I like the text going backwards through the wall. I find a lot of text in my images goes backwards or, or it's not a word or it's just letters. And again, I do that so it doesn't sort of, uh, it, it doesn't show where it is. It just makes you think and, and wonder where it is. And then my final image in this book is just of a little cottage that uh, is on the walk that we always do from um, where we stay in Wales all the way down to the beach in Saundersfoot. So there you have it. That's my sketchbook tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to see more, comment below um, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, then you'll find out when we do some more videos. Thanks for watching.